Welcome to episode 48 of Business and Leadership Stories. What started as just two friends getting together and said and saying, "Hey, we've talked travel for a bit on the airwaves. Let's now talk about some valuable nuggets that could lead to to some amazing lessons, stories that could lead to marketing and communication lessons." And that's where Sachin Mandari from the Story Co came in. The Story Co helps companies, startups and professionals break the culture of MBA speak and uses the power of stories to achieve their business goal with speed and ease. And uh, if you coach or consult and train with Sachin, you will see the benefits immediately. What's up episode 48 and counting? How are you doing, brother? Very good, very good, Rishi. Uh, I hope you're keeping yourself hydrated. I'm trying to do my best uh, with like <laughs> understanding how much water I'm having each day. Completely, uh, man. Mumbai is hot as hell, and this story <laughs> is about being fearful as hell. And it talks about the Pindar Goel, CEO and founder of Zomato. It's actually a super short story and three uh, completely actionable communication tips. So this one is basically, uh, you know, 31st December 2020. If I'm not wrong, uh, everybody I think was cele- for celebrating indoors. It was still the COVID uh, era, or the COVID time. And uh, I remember we had just moved to Mysore, so my wife and I we were having a quiet drink at home. We had ordered some things and uh, generally having a good time. But that's when I also logged into Twitter, uh, which is now called X, and I saw. Uh, Tanmay Bhatt reacting to something and then I was like, what is this uh, thing about? And I realized Deepinder Goel, the co-founder and CEO of Zomato was actually live tweeting the uh, behind the scene uh, action at Zomato when you know they were probably receiving the highest volume of orders that they have ever received. So he was talking about stuff like right now there are 20,000 biryanis and 16,000 pizzas in transit. Uh, we are getting 4,100 orders per minute. And he said uh, that, you know, team uh, is scared as hell. Or in Hindi, he was a bit more, how do you call it, generous with his words. He said, team ki pati hui hai. So uh, it, it was super fun. It was a it was a 31st night uh, sitting at home. So rather than watching a movie, I found it, uh, this, this entire behind the scenes action as a matter to be a lot more interesting and engaging. You know, in effect, there was that war raging between Zomato and Swiggy, uh, each one trying to uh, one-up the other. And the simple act of ordering a meal became high-stakes business. So here's Dibinder Goel saying they're fearful as hell whether they'll be able to take over competition and fulfill this number of orders. They obviously eventually went on to do so. So talk about what we can gauge from this particular story live tweeting being so excited as to give a live analysis of what's happening in terms of orders and deliveries on year's eve right so so rishi uh, what you said is right along with that it, the team was not or dipinder was not saying that the team is scared as hell only because of taking over competition i think the fact that the uh, order uh, the volume of all these orders was the highest ever which meant that the you know the team which is managing it, whether the development team, the DevOps team, etc., had to really uh, do their best to be able to make sure that the website or the app doesn't crash, and they didn't have a lot of people stranded, isolated, not knowing where to order their food from, or not knowing where their order is at this point in time. And despite that, the team I think managed a great job. The point that I'm make, also making is that you know Swiggy and Zomato are always compared. We don't really know who got more orders that night. Uh, however, because Tipinder was talking about the entire thing, he actually won the PR battle that night. And, and Zomato has actually always had a uh, one-up uh, against Swiggy when, as, as far as PR is concerned. And I think a lot of the credit goes to Dipinder because he's somebody who really understands what is newsworthy and how to create these nuggets of information and interesting things. So there's uh, something or the other to learn from Dipinder Goel all the time, though he himself says that he's a bit of an introvert who's not really good at communication. And I certainly don't agree with that. Well, well, communication is not about being sophisticated, but it's about being absolutely relatable. Where everybody can really understand where you're coming from. That's the story, Morning Glory. If people want to uh, consult with you, do a workshop with you, help you coach them. Where can we reach out to you, Sachin Bhandari? Uh, very simple, Rishi. You can look out for Sachin Bhandari on LinkedIn. Sachin is easy. Bhandari is B-H-A-N-D-A-R-Y. And on my LinkedIn profile, there's a link which says get in touch or stay in touch. Uh, you can either subscribe to my newsletter, which comes out on Wednesdays, 
or you know book a zoom call with me if you have a team uh, or a leadership coaching training uh, uh, program that you have in mind so i'll be able to help you uh, help uh, come in and uh, you know help your company startup or your executives win with stories yes super see you next time look forward to see 94.3 radio 1